Jana with Inner Fidelity. I'm here at New York Can Jam 2018 with Zach at the JH Audio booth. Uh, let me turn this around. Hey Zach, so what are you guys showing? Uh, we're showing our full product offering. Uh, we start, we have a three driver earpiece and then we go all the way up to a 12 driver earpiece. Uh, we also have our newest product, which is the Lola. It is our first hybrid piece. We use dual dynamic drivers on the mid range, and it's our, like I said, it's our first hybrid piece that we're offering. Uh, we also have new filtered earplugs, which we have recently released. It has interchangeable filters. If you were to purchase a set, it comes with a one set of filters, but we offer from 10 dB all the way up to 25 dB for the filters. And the, the price on that is $150. Great, and those came out when again? They're pretty new, right? Yes, they came out, I mean, recently, about a couple months ago, actually. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, and We also have, uh, if you look down here, we have our signature designs as well. So these are specialty design options that can be added onto any of our products. This is a full wood shell. We also have full carbon fiber and a range of other pieces. Cool, so do you guys anticipate any more hybrid IEMs in the future? I don't think so, not at this time. Jerry's always tinkering with new ideas and new things, so who's to say if he would do another hybrid piece? It's not out of the realm of possibility, but at this moment, uh, we do not have uh, another hybrid piece in the works. But have people, have Audiophiles been receiving it well? Or? It's been fairly well received, yes. Uh, the R&D process with the product, we actually worked with Slash, uh, the guitarist with Guns N' Roses, and he was not using monitors at all until he started working with Jerry on the product and now he's actually using them in the studio uh, so it's not only does it work well for live performing but it works in a studio it works for audio files it's really great for everyday listening so I noticed that you guys are doing impressions here at your booth. Yes. So are people actually ordering and getting their impressions done here? Yeah, so people are coming over, demoing our products, and then we're offering the molding to be done at the booth for free if they are purchasing at the show. Oh cool, would you guys mind uh, doing my impressions? No, we could do that. You wanna get your molds done? Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, we're back, uh, still at JH Audio. I'm here with Alex, who's gonna do my ear molds, and I'm gonna ask him a few questions before we get started. Okay, so basically, if you guys are at a Can Jam or a show that JH Audio is at, yep. then customers should go there to get their impression sent for free. Yeah, so it's beneficial if you're at an event, we will always have someone there that can, can take your molds at the event, so yeah, it makes sense to get everything done in one location, and you know, that's the simplest way. Cool, and then uh, I was watching some guys earlier get their impressions done, and I noticed that you guys use a bike block, which that's I've correct. gotten my ear molds before, and I... Mm -hmm wasn't given a bite block. Can yep. you go more into detail about that? Yeah, so we um, we use the bite block um, which uh, expands the ear canal slightly. Um, that gives us the, the most space to, you know, for the sound pores in, in the IEM. And it also stops any noise spikes when you um, open your mouth, when you may be performing and what have you. So it just gives you a much, much better all round fit. You know, so that's why we do that. Uh, and why do you think some custom customs manufacturers don't use bike blocks? Um, it would just be um, a preference. Um, so, you know, certain materials uh, expand, and they will, you know, they will allow for the expanding in the production. But it's just something that we always do, just to ensure that everyone gets the best fit that kind of comes with our products. So, yeah, that's why. Cool. And do you guys also do digital scans? Um, we don't do digital impressions, but we we can we can scan the impressions that we take on a 3D um, scanner, and we can store them electronically. And from there, we can actually remake the product. We, we have you know we can 3D model them, we can 3D print them. So we can we do have full 3D capabilities. So. Great. Uh, let's get started. Okay, then. let's do it.
So these are the ones that are pre-made, not the bread and butter uh, custom fit. Mm -hmm. what's, the, what's the cost of like this line? Are, are there more than? Yeah. There's more. Okay, we could go up from there. You have done. So that's <laughs> like I was gonna. This is yeah, yeah, that's a bit. Okay, so we're done with the impressions. Uh, here's what one of them looks like. Let me get this to focus. I have really tiny ears. Thanks, Alex. Thanks very much. Bye. Bye.